Welcome to CelticDroidTV.com uh, In this quick tutorial um, we're in the process of releasing another build which should be tonight or tomorrow um, and this is specifically for uh, those with an IPTV stalker or a pro stream uh, subscription. Uh, what you will need to do once you've updated um, to the latest build you will have to manually uh, insert the MAC address um, that you were assigned when you got the subscription. Um, so it's pretty easy to do. All you need to do is once um, we've opened up Kodi, if we go across to the add on zone um, and down to video add ons, uh, open it up, and then we need to search for IPTV Store. There we go. So once we've got IPTV Stalker, now the version that is out at the moment, um, this is from the ProStream repository, um, it's version 9.0.20. Okay, it's important that you've got that version. If you haven't, then contact us and we can get that sorted for you. Uh, but on the new build, it will be this version. Um, so once you've got it highlighted, we need to press um, menu on your remote control or C on your keyboard to bring up the context menu. And then we're going to add on settings. And it just brings up this, and as you can see, um, what we need to do is, is port one. That's all we need to do. And as you can see, we need to turn on the custom MAC address. So you just uh, click OK and just turn that on. And also just highlight the send serial number as well. Okay, so make sure you've got the custom MAC address and the send serial number. Um, and then what we need to do, if you click into the MAC address there and Obviously, um, everyone's MAC address would be different. Um, you were given that um, when you place the order, um, and it will look something like um, this. So you have 0078 00, 00 colon 78 colon numbers and, and so on and so forth. So it will look like uh, look like that. So once you've done that, then what you need to do is click OK and then you open up ITV G Stalker. Now it, it's coming up the custom Mac is invalid. Well, we know that because I can't put a valid Mac in um, because obviously uh, if it gets out into the wild, then they'll cancel your subscription. So um, once, once all that is done, what you need to do is then highlight NFPS and press C or menu and just clear cache. And once that's done, it'll go through, and then you can click on the NFPS, and it'll bring up all the um, the video on demand and all the channels behind it. Okay, uh, and obviously that is that pretty straightforward. Um, if you've got any issues, just uh, email us, and uh, we'll get it sorted. Okay, thanks a minute.